What's going on, Big Dogs? SG Leo here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the June team update for Lost Ark. So let's dig into this. All right, guys. So before we get started and digging into all this information, if you guys could do me a huge favor and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notification bells, guys, it really does mean a ton. It's one small click for you, but it's one major, major press for me, guys. It really, really means a lot. So let's dive into this so we're going to start off with the top here heroes of arcasia the wrath of covetous legion update will arrive in arcasia on june 30th so i'm recording this on the 24th so six days from now we can't wait to witness the upcoming battles against legion commander vicus and the guardian I'm not gonna try along with the personal victories as players test themselves in this solo throne spear Throne Spire Dungeon, sorry. We're also ecstatic to announce that we've worked on worked with Smilegate RPG to include a top player request in June update. A stronghold research available at item level 460 that improves alternate characters' honing rates and their journey to item level 415. We are too excited to not spoil that one, but you'll have to wait until June 29th for the full release notes. Okay, so... Uh, this is just kind of like a rundown of what to expect. So this isn't the full uh, patch release. So just keep that in mind. So they go on and say, well, we originally hoped to release the June update early this month. A few factors played into the update, moving to the end of the month, working with Smilegate RPG to add in the player request to Stronghold Research. Our team's focused on uh, ridding Arcasia of bots and corresponding queue times. Evaluating other content set to arrive and adding in new in few player gifts in the june and july roadmap released earlier this month we shared that the yo's jar cosmetic system would arrive in the june update after taking another look at the system and listening to player feedback they have decided to remove the yo's jar so that is really big so and it's really nice so they, they they're touching on some things that have been kind of a hot topic in the community recently so obviously bots have been a major issue especially over here recently long queue times we're talking 15 16 thousand wait lines at some points i know they did a little bit of banning a little bit back but it didn't seem like it fixed anything i was still coming across thousands of the damn things if you were next to any triport they would just be hundreds of them uh rushing in and out so it was it's not fun the bots are not good for the game uh, they're really screwing with the economy as well so it's just I'm glad that they're at least trying to, they're at least recognizing it. You know, I don't know if they're actually going to end up doing anything or not, but they're at least recognizing that there's the problem. Uh, and the Yo's Jar cosmetic system was something that, although I didn't hate it, I also didn't like it. It was one of those things that I was kind of indifferent on, and it wasn't really going to affect me because I'm somebody who's going to play the game a lot anyways. But I can understand why they'd be removing it with the backlash they got that, Basically, if you guys don't know what it is, and it says it down here, is that uh, it's basically like you can put on a cosmetic set of epic skins or legendary skins, which will then give you a one and two percent boost to like all of your all of your stats, right? But in a game like this, that does really matter, especially as you come down into the later parts of the game, and especially as you get into like the the end game, you know, past fourteen hundred gear score stuff like that. Those little boosts can really help a lot and can really decide a lot of things so I, I understand the backlash and i understand that they're gonna kind of they're gonna kind of look into it and see what they can do to add those in without the the buffs aka just make really cool skins and put them in the shop people will buy cosmetics okay uh, but people will buy cosmetics so i don't know i don't know why they needed to make it like that but yeah, so solid, solid uh, touches here. I do really like, like I said, I really like the, we're finally getting the Vicus, the Vicus raid, which is everybody's been heated about, keeps getting pushed back. So I'm excited that everyone is finally going to be able to do that. Um, we have some player gifts coming just for the updates and stuff like that and to thank everyone for their patience. So we're going to be getting a couple pouches here for honing gear, which is super nice. Uh, we're going to be getting a Makoko Seed costume. So we'll get to pick from one of these lovely skins. 
Uh, and then they're also going to be releasing some new skins here. As you can see, a couple sets here. I'll have to go in-game and actually show them off here when the update comes out. Uh, but yeah, solid, solid stuff. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just more excited that they're actually touching up on the Yow's Jar and that they're actually at least aware of the bots. Uh, and this Stronghold Research thing is really, really big. So basically, I haven't touched on it yet, so I probably should. Uh, basically, what they're saying is, so for those of you who don't know, once you get to endgame is when you kind of do want to start making alternatives, right? So you kind of want to beat the campaign out, get all, get all the main quests out of the way on your main character, and then you basically make alts to funnel a bunch of honing materials and a bunch of things materials that your main character is going to need, right? So it allows you to run dungeons more often, it allows you to run raids more often, things like that, and you just funnel all the materials you get into one character, and then that character gets really strong really fast, right? That's the whole point of alternates. And basically they just are allowing this to make it easier to get your alternate accounts to a high enough level to farm the proper materials for your main character. So uh, it's just making it quicker to max out your alternates which will then in turn make it easier to max out your main uh, your main character so solid solid stuff so far again we're going to get more of this here in a couple days and i'll probably make another video on that uh, but anyways guys let me know what you think of this so far let me know what you think they should do about the bots let me know what you think of the yaw's jar down below let me know what you think of the video down below if you like it if you didn't let me know all feedback is greatly appreciated thumbs up thumbs down Whatever it is, it all means a ton, guys. Thank you for your time. See you in the next one. Peace. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me.